So hi, Carol. Uh, thank you for uh, sharing some basic facts about bedwetting with us. You have a long experience in uh, research in the uh, occurrence of bedwetting in children. So uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, how frequent uh, bedwetting is? Yeah, so there's been a, a lot of population-based studies around the world. Um, the frequency of bedwetting, say at age seven, when mm. most children would be expected to, to be dry at night, is about 10 to 15 percent. So wow. there's, there's yeah. still quite a lot of children wetting the bed by that age. Um, there was a population-based study, for instance, in Bristol um, of over 7,000 children and 15 percent of them were still wetting the bed at age seven. Obviously, the, the prevalence reduces mm. with age. So by around mid-adolescence, it's around two to three percent. So it's still quite a significant proportion who are wetting the bed, even yeah, in, yeah. in the teenage years. And, and, uh, and I've read that it's more common uh, in boys than in girls, uh, at least in the younger ages. Uh, do we know why that is? Why? Why are we suffering more from that? <laughs> there isn't a definitive answer to that question, and it's a very good question that, that requires more research. But it's commonly believed that because boys, on average, mature more slowly than girls, so they're slower to attain nighttime continence than girls are. So what you see is when you, you follow up boys and girls to adolescence, the prevalence becomes more equal by mid adolescence. So there's, there's about an equal number of, um, or equal proportion of boys and girls wetting the bed by the teenage years. So there does seem to appear to be a maturational element to it. So, so the boys catches the girls in the maturation process. Yeah, the, the, the boys, yeah, seem to catch up, yeah. but, but not all, obviously. No. There's going no. to be some who are still bedwetting at that age. And the numbers you just gave me indicate that it kind of tends to disappear over time if you don't do anything, I guess. Uh, but d does this mean that uh, you can just wait it out and then... No, not, not for all children. So a significant proportion will still have problems. They'll suffer from chronic problems if it's left untreated. So it's not a good idea just to, to kind of watch and wait to see what happens. There is actually some evidence that children who have bed wetting with accompanying daytime wetting are at greater risk of their problems becoming chronic into adolescence. So that's a, a subgroup that's particularly mm. in need of, of early intervention. Yeah. Uh, also, um, uh, I've heard that there's a uh, increased uh, prevalence or, or existence of, uh, of behavioral problems. So these uh, psychological issues, is that, yes. is that true? And do we know how they are related to each other? Yeah, there's, there's a very strong relationship between enuresis and problems such as ADHD, um, disruptive behaviour, and also some emotional problems as well. It's not known yet why they're related, whether um, it's a cause or an effect of enuresis. Mm. Um, some recent research has shown that children with a um, genetic risk for ADHD are at greater risk of enuresis. There could also be a, a neurodevelopmental explanation. So it could be um, some sort of maturational deficit in arousal that, that is causing um, enuresis and ADHD. Yeah. More research needs to be done to, to yeah. try and unpick the, the mechanisms. But I think we can conclude that the old myth that bedwetting is caused by psychological disturbances or maybe even psychiatric illness, it definitely doesn't seem to hold true. Right? There's going to, to be um, mul multifactorial <laughs> elements yeah. to, the, you know, to explaining yeah. enuresis, genes, environment, and the, the key is to 
investigate what the contribution of each is and how they interact together. Yeah. And I think the advice we can give to families is to, to seek treatment for both. If a child yes. would have both these issues, seek treatment, seek treatment as early for both as possible. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank yeah. you.